we created a poll regarding the selection of topics for set 41 on our community tab and the majority of the people voted for a special function basil legendary logier and harmonic polygon so uh, special functions so here we go with our set uh, 49 based on special function now those who don't know about uh, sunday set video for them i would like to say the sunday set video is a video consisting of uh, a set of problems and their detailed solutions from different topics of physics which is uploaded on every Sunday on our YouTube channel. Now, without wasting much time, let's start uh, today's set video. So, before going, for, going to discuss the solutions and the problems, I would like to give you the formula sheet for this special function. Remember it, uh, practice it, capture it, whatever you want to do, you do. But if you can capture or remember this, formula sheet then you can easily solve problems from special functions and while discussing the solution the formula sheet will be utilized uh, more or less uh, all the time so let's start with the first question the first question uh, reads like this the value of the integral 0 to 1 x g on x whole square dx is equal to now how can you solve uh, this problem so, to solve this problem, we have to utilize the orthogonality relation of this function. What is that? 0 to n x j n alpha x j n j n beta x dx x 0. The alpha beta are the roots of the basic function. So, basically, uh, j n of x will be equals to 0. Okay, so when alpha and beta are uh, not the same points. But when they are the same roots, then the formula will produce half j n plus 1 of alpha whole square if alpha and beta are equal and utilizing this uh, thing here so basically it becomes very simple now so 0 to 1 x j on x into j on x dx so here alpha and beta equals to 1 okay so if alpha and beta equals to 1 then it was producing according to this formula half j 2 of 1 whole square here yeah, because here alpha and beta equals to 1 and 1 plus 1 means 2. So uh, option C is the correct option. Moving on to the uh, next question, the second question. The second order derivative of the harmonic polynomial of nth order that is h and double prime and greater than equals to 2 can be written as. Okay. So this is also a very good question and a simple question. So to <coughs> find out the solution of this question we have to know the orthogonality relation uh, generate sorry generating function for this harmonic polynomial so in the formula sheet you can check the uh, uh, generating function is given into the power 2x minus t square equals to sum over n equals to 0 to infinity h and x to the y n divided by n factorial so we have to find out h and double prime x <coughs> so to do that we are taking derivative on both sides with respect to x okay because we have to go upward hn then hn prime x then hn double prime x so we have to take derivative with respect to x so taking derivative we are getting equation 2 so simple derivative now hn prime x that's it now next if we deriv deri uh, take derivative uh, of equation 1 with respect to x then you can go to hn double prime x so we are taking derivative with respect to x and producing this expression equation number 3 4 t square h and uh, x to the 1 by n factorial equals to h and double prime x to the 1 by n factorial. Here it is what 2 x t minus t square. We are replacing this value with the parent equation, the first equation, very first equation, equation 1, and uh, we are just getting equation 3. Now, what we are going to do here, we are writing. Uh, <coughs> We are simplifying the equation basically. We are gathering the uh, coefficient of t and we are getting equation 4. Okay. So, next, what we are doing, we are equating the coefficients on both sides of uh, t to the power n. Now, if we equate the coefficient of t to the power n on both sides, so basically we have to put n equals to n minus 2 on the left hand side, and as a result of that, you get this expression. 4 into h n minus 2x divided by n minus 2 in factorial equals to h n double prime x divided by n factorial. And if you uh, if you isolate h n double prime x from here, you get 4 n into n minus 1 
H n minus two x, and uh, this solution is matching with option C. So option C is the correct answer for the second question. Uh, let's move to the third question. The value of the integral minus one to one, one minus x square, p n prime x whole square dx will be. Okay. So how can we solve uh, this question? To solve this question, we need to utilize again the orthogonality of legendary polynomial. What is that? Uh, minus one to one p n x p m x dx. This is equals to zero when m is not equals to n, and it is producing two by two n plus one when m equals to n. So this formula will be required. Will be required. Okay. So we know the solution of legendary uh, differential equation is the legendary polynomial y equals to p n of x. So we are just replacing. Uh, Y with p n x, and we are getting this expression one minus x square p n double prime x minus two x p n prime x plus n into n plus one p n x equals to zero. Okay, this is very straightforward. You can easily understand this. So the first two term can be written as g d x of one minus x square p n prime x. You can take the derivative and you get the first equation, and that is equals to minus n into n plus one p n x, and We have to find out the integration of one minus x square p n prime x whole square dx. So this, uh, so here we will utilize the class twelve integration, integration by parts. Okay, so one minus x square p n prime x. This part, uh, for this part we are taking it as u, and the next part p n prime x we are taking it as v. So the for the formula uh, of this integration u v dx equals to u integration v dx. Minus du dx integration of v dx dx. Okay, so this is the formula for our uh, partial integration. Using this formula, uh, we are taking this pa part u and this part as v, and we are just get, uh, getting this Clumsy equation. But this is very easy because. One minus x square is zero at x equal to plus minus one, and the p n prime x p n x is non-zero at uh, mm -hmm. x equal to plus one and minus one. So that part is vanished. So the next part, so there are d d x of one minus x square p n prime x. So you have already found out the value in equation four. So we are just replacing the value from equation four. Now it's a simple integration. n into uh, n plus one minus one to one p n square x dx. Now from the orthogonality relation, we know that integration of minus one to one p n x square uh, p n square x dx equals two by two n plus one. So we are just replacing that value here in this integration and we are getting two n into n plus one divided by twice n plus one, and it is matching with option B. So option B is the correct option. Let's move to the fourth question of this set. If one by one minus t e to the power minus x t divided by one minus t equals to n equals to zero to infinity, ln of x t e to the power n, then ln prime of zero will be. And you are given four options. So how to do this? So what you are given? You are given the or the or generating function for this uh, polynomial. So you have to find out the prime at Zero. So what we have to do? We have to differentiate the generating function with respect to x. Okay. So taking derivative on both sides of equation uh, one, we get uh, this value. So e to the power minus x t divided by minus t. If you take derivative, so minus t by one minus t will come out, and the exponential term will, uh, remains. Exponential function is a very strong function. If you differentiate, it will produce the same thing. If you integrate, also you can. Uh, get the you get the same thing. Uh, you have we must have seen some meme on this on this thing. Okay, so l uh, to the power n ln prime x. So we are getting equation two. We have to find out the value of ln prime x at x equals to zero. So we are putting x equal to zero in equation two, and we are getting this equation minus t on minus t whole square equals to the summation. Now. Uh, one minus t, uh, when taken to the numerator, it becomes one minus two to the power minus two. So we are in the form of this 
expansion which we have learned in our class 12 level that is min 1 minus t to the power minus 2. So it is analogous to this expression 1 minus x to the power minus n. So when everything is minus there so all the terms which we will get in the expansion will be positive. So minus t now we are uh, expanding this 1 minus t whole to the power minus 2 1 plus 2 t plus 3 t square dot 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 n t n minus 1 plus n plus 1 to the power n. So look at the power whatever will be there it will be plus 1 before the coefficient ok. So if there is n minus 1 here will be n. If there is n minus 2 here will be n minus 1. So you have to add plus 1 plus 1 before the coefficient ok. Now multiplying with t producing these things. So basically we are equating the coefficient of t to the power n on both sides and uh, comparing the coefficient we get ln prime of 0 equals to minus n and it is matching with option d. So option d is the correct option for this problem. Now we are at the last question of this set and it reads given the recurrence relation for the uh, legendary polynomials. 2n plus 1 x p n x equals to n plus 1 p n plus 1 x plus n into p n minus 1 into x. The value for the integral uh, minus 1 to 1 x square p n plus x p n minus x dx is. Look, the question is looking horrible, but the solution is very simple. What we have to do, we have to separate the integration into two parts. Okay? So, x uh, what was the question? Yes. So separate the integration and x square we are writing x into p n plus 1 x and so where I have minus 1 to 1 we are writing it as like this x into p n plus 1 x so this is one part Another part is x into p n minus 1 into x dx. Okay? So separately we will find out this value and this value. Okay? So we know the uh, uh, recurrence relation 2n plus 1 x p n x equal to n plus 1 p n plus 1 x plus n p n minus 1 x. Now put n equals to n plus 1 in the first equation, equation 1. And if you do so, you can find out x p n plus 1 x, what we, that's what we need here. So x p n plus 1 x equals to this rigorous equation, equation number 2. You will check it, it's very simple. Now, uh, next, what we are going to do, we are putting n equals to n minus 1 in the first equation to achieve this. So, we are getting x p n minus 1 x equals to n by 2 n minus 1 p n x plus n minus 1 by 2 n minus 1 p n minus 2 x uh, that is shown in equation 3. Now we have got this term and this term. Now we are just multiplying them. Okay. So look, there are four terms. There will be 2, 2, 4 terms only. p n plus 2 x into pnx then pn plus 2x into pn minus 2x and many things are there but here we have to utilize the uh, orthogonality of uh, this legendary function and using orthogonality we know that if uh, the coefficient p m and p n p m and p n if they are equal then only it will produce a non-zero results okay so p n x and p n x they are uh, two terms are there p n x into p n x so p n square x will be there in the integration and we know the value of that that is 2 by 2 n plus 1 so if you put a value of 2 uh, p n square x is integration of that then you get the answer and it is matching with option ok so we have discussed all the solutions in great detail so even if you are after that, if you have any any kind of questions or query or confusion, you can comment down below.
I will try my best to answer them all, to clarify them all. And those who are new here, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. And don't forget to press the bell icon. And finally, thanks for watching.